This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Hey, what is up guys? This is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and it is September 23rd, 2017. Yes, it is officially Batman Day. And in honor of Batman Day, I'll be doing a review of... The S.H. Figuarts Batman The Dark Knight from the Christopher Nolan Films. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in a window box packaging, with an image of the figure on the left. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images of the figure with his multiple interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is Batman out of the box. And man, this is the Christian Bale Batman figure that I've always been waiting for. I think SH Figure Arts completely nailed it. There are a couple minor problems here and there, but overall I think he's probably the best Christian Bale version in this scale that we have ever received. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a look at the accessories. So Batman does come with a good amount of accessories. Starting off, he comes with two interchangeable head sculpts, his bomb gun, six pairs of interchangeable hands, two batarangs, and his grapple gun. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at Batman. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Batman here. Now this is a very cool figure. Um, I think like a lot of people, the Christopher Nolan, you know, Christian Bale Batman films are some of the best out there. Um, I know that we've had some hit or misses and whatnot with characters like um, George Clooney, uh, but whatnot. But Christian Bale's Batman was pretty awesome. And I think this has got to be, in my opinion, uh, the best Christian Bale Batman figure in this scale. Uh, we've gotten other figures, like we have the Mafex one right here, and I have the Mattel one and things like that, and a couple other iterations. Uh, this is the 2.0 Mafex right here. Uh, that, uh, compared to the Figuarts, so just a quick comparison, um, I definitely, definitely like the Figuarts version a lot better. Uh, just the overall sculpt, there's a lot of sculpted detail that the Figuarts version has that the Mafex doesn't. Uh, just the, 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 the body structure and whatnot just feels more natural, like he's actually wearing armor and things like that. This one's a little too slim with a big head in my opinion. This one just feels a little more accurate and more, more realistic in my opinion. So. This one's cool. I do recommend this Mafex 2.0, and I know they're coming out with a 3.0 soon, and I'll definitely be getting that one. Uh, but this Figuarts is definitely one of the best ones, uh, again, in this scale. I think he looks awesome. I think Bandai did such a good job with this. The head sculpt looks really good. Both head sculpts do. He does come with an interchangeable head sculpt. The only thing problem I have with this one right here is the real big difference with this head. Um, his mouth is semi-open. Um, but it, it doesn't really look like he's like angry or snarling. He just looks like he he just looks like he's kind of happy. <laughs> so it's a little weird. Uh, you can change the heads like that. They're just on ball. The ball pig is actually in the head itself. Uh, so you can put that on, and eh, I probably won't be using that head all that much. My big issue that I did wish this one had come with, and I was kind of hoping, is that he'd come with an unmasked head. Um, now, I tried to take the unmasked head from the Mafex, because the Mafex does not have one, but the peg is different because the ball peg is in the neck on this, on the Mafex, which where this one is actually, the ball peg is on the actual head itself, so it does not work. So I just kind of wish we got an unmasked um, Christian Bale head, but other than that, that's my only major, major complaint with this figure. But other than that, again, he looks fantastic. Really nice sculpt. And you can kind of even see in, like, the undersuit, all like this cross hatching and whatnot, all that detail, even between the metal plating, you can see all the detailed um, sculpting in this, which looks really good. Nice uh, plate armor all around the figure. Again, you can see all the little cross hatching between the plating. Uh, that's something that the Mafex did not have, where the Mafex is just smooth. 
this has all that indentation detail in right there all between the plates which looks very cool i really do like the aesthetics of this i think the shoulder pads look great love the blades i like how we had the double blades like that the christian uh, christian bale version which is really cool dig this uh he does have a more accurate like copperish gold uh belt uh where the mafex version just had a shirt up like yellow gold uh this one's actually more accurate to the film again which is pretty cool and i do appreciate i think all the chest armor looks great really really cool i'm really hoping figure arts gives us a batman begins uh version of the suit because i really did like that version quite a bit too but i know this is the one that's more synonymous with the nolan film so pretty cool uh he does come with interchangeable parts all kinds of interchangeable hands and hands are pretty easy to interchange and swap like that they're just on standard pegs that we've gotten you know pretty much every figure arts uh, i do kind of feel i don't know what it is i've never had a problem with figure arts before uh, but every time it's interchanging the hands, the, I feel like the pegs are going to break. Uh, and they're pretty sturdy. I haven't had an issue, again, with any other figure arts figure. But I, I get kind of worried when I'm switching the, the hands on this figure for some reason. So, interesting. Um, his cape is also wearing a nice cloth cape, thank God. Uh, because we did get... Let me see if I can pull this out here. This is the other figure arts Batman from Injustice. Uh, and he had the plastic cape, and we all know the debacle with this and the other two separate pieces on the side and whatnot. I do not like this solid, rigid plastic. I am a fan of cloth capes. Now, I'm not a huge fan of, of cloth capes with wires in them, um, but it's still pretty good. It works pretty good. Whereas the Mayfix one just had a straight, um, real thin, rounded wire in it, and it works pretty good. This one actually has more flat wires in there, and it's hard to explain that until you actually have it in hand, but these wires are flat, and, and they're actually pretty thick, so they actually hold up pretty sturdily, so when you want to bend them around and whatnot, you, again, you can pretty much do anything you really want to do. We also get some in the center pieces right here, so you actually get four wires in that cape, and that's just pretty, that's a, a pretty impressive wingspan, so pretty cool. Uh, we also do get two of these little batarangs that are pretty nice. And you can hold them in multiple hands and whatnot. Uh, you got a little gripping hand like that. There's another ones where you can hold them between the fingers. Uh, we do get his grapple gun. Again, beautifully sculpted. I love this little thing right here. This is actually one of my favorite Batman grapple guns. Because it has the dual hooks. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you can hold it in his little holster right here. You just take this, uh, slide it in like that. And he does hold it in there very nicely. Uh, kind of just kind of clips in there and it's not going anywhere it's going to stay in there uh and you can just take it out and he does have a gripping hand i have over here already these hands are very tight but you can get them going and then boom you got something like that which i think looks very good i love that quite a bit uh now what you also do is take this hand off and then he also comes with this gun right here uh which they're calling the bomb gun i'm not sure if that's what it's actually called but on the package it says bomb gun so that's what i'm going to call it uh so i would take a little hand like this right here get this type of a more of a tighter trigger hand and then you could just slide that on like so so we can get this and like i said this oh wait that's the wrong hand my bad <laughs> Uh, do I have the hand? Do I know what I'm doing? I feel like I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, is that it? No, I think it's this one, I think. So you can, man, see, like, the hands are really tight. The, ah, the pegs, ah, I feel like I'm gonna break them someday. Um, uh, so you can just take that on like that, and, ah, uh, see, pop, ooh, so that's not working. <laughs> uh, I promise you this does work. I just don't know what's wrong with me right now. Is it that hand? I think it's, oh, th duh, that's why. I had the complete wrong hand on there. So you got that, slide the finger in, there you go. I did it, yay! <laughs> so I think you actually get one of the other gripping hands and you can actually do some two-handed poses and whatnot. And that works out pretty cool too, I like that quite a bit. So pretty nice, I do like that accessory. Let me take that one off and I'll put on maybe like a more open palm hand like so so pretty cool so those are his accessories and i think they're all pretty pretty awesome so now let's take a look at articulation so the head and the neck are on ball joints so they do roll around just like so lots of good motion do turn left and right can look up very high up which is really nice can down very far um you can go all the way up and down with the shoulders you can go out with the shoulders like that uh these little shoulder pads are on ball pegs so they do move around uh, but they will pop off from time to time 
uh, when you're posing them around. So just be very wary of that. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Uh, rotation at the bicep, double, double jointed elbow, which works very nice. Uh, we get those hands on those ball pegs, so they rotate, roll around, hinge, just like that. Really, really nice. We get a double ball peg from the up mid torso in the upper torso and another one in down to the crotch area. So the top rolls around independently, rotates, crunch, uh, pivot side to side, crunches back and forth. The same thing with the lower one, rolls around, rotates, pivot side to side, crunches back and forth. Very nice, lots of good motion in there. We get hip joints that kick forward that much, back about that far, they kick out about that much. We get, uh, you can kind of pull them down a little bit to get even a higher and more out kick if you like. We get a cup right there that rotates in that upper thigh. Double, double jointed knees that work very nice. Ankle joints, uh, punch, punch the toe up and down. Rotate, a uh, little bit of ankle rocker and toe articulation. So overall, this is a really cool figure. Now, I guarantee that they're gonna be better ones at later dates, but I think this guy is very awesome. Uh, he's definitely, the, in my opinion, the best one in this scale. So if you can get him, he's pretty awesome. I think you'll love him. Great articulation, great accessories. I think he's awesome for your collection. And again, happy Batman Day. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Bale comparison, here he is standing next to the Movie Masters Batman from Mattel, and the Mafex 2.0 Batman. And because it's Batman Day, here he is standing next to a bunch of other Batman figures from my collection. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the SH Figure Arts Batman The Dark Knight from the Christopher Nolan films. Now overall, I really do think this is the best Christian Bale Batman that we have ever received in this scale. He does have a couple minor personal problems like I wish he came with an unmasked head sculpt and I'm not a big fan of wired capes. But those problems are very minor compared to the awesome figure that we get. Beautiful sculpt, great articulation, and awesome accessories make this for one great Batman figure to get. So for great deals, head over to agelessgeeks.com for awesome action figures like this and all the things you love. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Happy Batman Day, and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.